What is up, comic fans? I'm back again with another top 10 new comic picks for this coming week's new comic book day, and it is a stacked week. Don't go anywhere. Hit that thumbs up. Check this out. Shout out to the homies over at Big Time Collectibles. Be sure to check them out if you need to place your final order cutoffs or check out some of the retailer exclusives. You can hit up their website or follow them on social media and not miss out on all the awesome stuff they're doing. And if you need anything clean and pressed, hit up my good friend Justin over on Instagram. The link to him is in the description to all my videos. Let him know you found him via the channel. And as always, a huge thank you to my local comic shop, ABX Comics and Games. Without them, I would not be able to pick up these comics or I would place my order through Big Time Collectibles. Let's get into it. This is a stacked week. This is the third week now that we're into the DC Night Terrors event. And I got to tell you, going into it, everyone knows that I was not digging it. And I'll be honest with you, I'm digging it a lot more than I was when this all started. I'm still not happy that the main titles that I was reading are deep doing this event, but the quality is there. I'm not going to lie. The storytelling is pretty good. The quality is there, and it's definitely interesting. So let's dive into DC first and go ahead and cover this because this is going to be the main body of the video is with a lot of this DC stuff. But there are some major bangers that you need to know about outside of Night Terrors in a massive event that you might not have heard about. But first up on the list, we're going with World's Finest. Issue number 17. I think this just came out not long ago, but this is uh, Mark Wade and good God, I'm blanking. Dan Mora. There you go. Mark Wade and Dan Moore on the art. It's been a fantastic story. It's like the AI war. We have like a super amazo going ham and uh, attacking pretty much the entire DC universe at this point. We have tons of guest stars in here. It's all come together like butt cheeks. The Flash showed up in that last issue. And I'm excited to see how it all plays out. This title, World's Finest, has been the best consistent monthly title on shelves for a superhero comic. If you haven't been checking it out, Go back and do yourself a favor and read this amazing book. The art alone will carry you through. And Mark Wade is absolutely crushing it on the writing. It's so good that it's already spun out a secondary title called World's Finest Teen Titans that released last week. And I got to tell you, it was fantastic as well. Mark Wade is uh, helming that one. And, uh, dude, I'm just all in for this World's Finest stuff. It takes place in an unspecific time in the past, like Dick Grayson is still Robin, for example, and it gives them more freedom to tell stories without being confined to current continuity. So uh, yeah, definitely give that a try. Next up, one that I'm not as excited about, but it's definitely on my pool list. You ready for this long title? Batman, The White Knight Presents, Generation Joker by Katana Collins. For those that don't know, this is Sean Gordon Murphy's White Knight universe. Some of the best Batman standalone stories told in modern time come from Sean Gordon Murphy's White Knight universe. He's done three volumes proper at this point, but in between those volumes, we have had the little mini volume that we had Harley Quinn last time, and now we have Generation Joker. What this really is is a placeholder. I'm just going to be honest with you. It's kind of a carryover from one of Sean Murphy's to the next, and uh, Katana Collins is his wife, and she kind of helps us. They do give uh, Sean Murphy the cover art on this as well as his name on the book as helping with it but it is definitely Katana Collins book and in this we have pretty much AI Joker AI is just a common thread in things these days but AI Joker trying to take his kids on a walkabout so they can get a chance to get to know who their father really was outside of being the clown prince of crime before the artificial intelligence memory of him is gone forever now I did not read issue two yet it's in my two read pile and I'll be honest with you, the first issue actually did surprise me. While the concept of the book isn't exciting, the delivery and everything was kind of spot on. Some of the redeeming qualities of it is that they introduce Diana and Jon Stewart and T. Superman in the final pages of Sean Murphy's Volume 3. And we're kind of getting the first taste of those characters in this. Those small parts, they're still here. So they're building out the White Knight universe and leading up to his inevitable Justice League, which I am all in for. Next up, we're diving into Night Terror's deep at this point we do not have a night terrors proper title this week we had issue one last week first blood the week before that but we do have multiple single issue tie-ins first off and most notably the man of steel himself superman kind of excited for this i pulled superman anyways and in this book we're going to be diving into his terrors and wondering what they really are we're supposed to be going to i think it's a planet terror or something like that and dealing with a form of death itself so i'm definitely going to be picking this up i'm definitely looking forward to it it's going to be interesting to see with somebody as hopeful and optimistic as Superman 
what his real fears are. And we don't haven't really been breaking down like these people's ultimate fears. It's really up to the writer. So let's see what they do with this one. There's a lot of possibility with this one. Next up, another one that uh, I'll probably be reading and keeping is going to be Wonder Woman. Gorgeous Jay Lee cover with this one. And I have not normally been picking up Wonder Woman. It's a title that just doesn't really scream get it but knowing that tom king is taking over the title i did pick up issue 800 to get the first little bit of his writing and i see from the cover of this we have the justice league dark so again i'm all in wonder woman did have a stint with the team and now it looks like they might be calling back to that in the pages of her night terrors two issue little story here so kind of kind of excited for this one to be honest with you i'm looking forward to it next up we have catwoman i do not pull catwoman i do not read catwoman i do not care to but I will be keeping up with this event in its entirety, so I will be getting this one. And if you are interested, I do review all these books on Sunday nights as well, Monday mornings on Sector 2815's channel. And if you check out my Tuesday live stream, I do a new DC day every week where I give away uh, new DC books on that stream just to commemorate the day. And during Night Terrors, all of the books that are not on my regular pull list, I'm picking them up and I'm giving them away on those Tuesdays. So Catwoman will be included in that giveaway as well as this awesome Nightwing cover, which I don't pull Nightwing. That might be a shocker. Everyone loves that title, but just doesn't do enough for me in the greater DC Universe stuff. But I am excited to see what's going to go on inside of his Night Terrors. And the cover of this with the samurai-looking thing just looks absolutely wicked. Shout out to my boy Beckerman Likes Comics over on Instagram. He's the biggest Matina fan that I know. So I'll be trying to grab a copy of this one to be able to include in the giveaway. And then lastly for Night Terrors... All the Batman characters get their own book, I guess. We have a punchline to issue Night Terrors, and I didn't read the synopsis. I'll be honest with you, I don't care. This is one that I feel like is going to pain me to even read through, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to you know, jump on the grenade for you guys, and I'll let you know how it goes. Uh, Tuesday, live stream, check it out, and uh, I'll try to find uh, like a, a decent variant or the coolest cover I can for those three titles, and I'll be giving them away on Tuesday. Now that's it for DC Marvel didn't make the list for anything that I'm reading, but there was a Marvel book that I pre-ordered through a shop called Wanted Comics, and it's comics with an X, I believe. It's a newer shop to me, but they seem to have pretty fantastic books and uh, customer service, I don't know about customer service, but uh, shipping and everything was fantastic with them, and they're working with my favorite modern cover artist, John Jang, to do a fantastic exclusive for the upcoming issue one of Blade that'll be dropping this coming week, so uh I love me some Blade. I don't really ever dive into the comics and stuff. I've read comics with him in them over my years, but I'm not going to be following this book. I'm not going to be pulling it, not adding it to my list, but I am getting the John Jane cover for it. My love for Blade pretty much comes like everybody else's from the Wesley Snipes movie. Wesley Snipes is Blade. and I'm excited for the Mashallah Ali movie that's coming up. I hope Marvel doesn't mess it up. I have no doubt that they will if they have anything to say about it, but I hope they don't. Anyways, Blade number one, I got the trade dress and the Virgin variant coming. I'm excited about that. I don't know if they have any copies left, but if you're into some cool exclusives, check out John's work over there at Wanted Comics. He's done a few covers for him now. And the big one for this coming week, huge book, is going to be Void Rivals number two. So I don't know how many people might not know about this at this point. I know most people have to, but Void Rivals is the brand new story coming out of Skybound. That's the imprint that Robert Kirkman has at Image Comics. So this is an Image Comics published book under Skybound. And what it is, it's a new 12-issue series about two warring, fact warring races, and uh, one of each of them crash lands in a fight, and they pretty much have to fight to a standstill and decide to break all the oaths of their people and work together to try to survive their situation. And in the process of doing it, they wake up in... Uh, defunct spaceship that they found when they were trying to scrap for resources and it turned out to be jet fire from Transformers. So what Void Rivals is doing is ushering in the brand new Energon universe under Image Comics. And what happened with that is IDW messed up and dropped the rights and Image swooped in and bought the rights for Transformers and G.I. Joe. So Image is going to be creating a huge shared universe with these properties and it all starts right here with void rivals this is the second issue so check your shops check big time collectibles they do have uh void rivals number one packs you don't want to miss this it's going to be huge there's numerous transformers and gi joe books already announced slated and ready to roll all the way through the end of the year and into the beginning of the next year most notably transformers number one this october 
written and illustrated by Daniel Warren Johnson. So do not miss out on that. And then lastly, probably the biggest book of the week. And this one's going to go under people's radar. And they're going to be like, oh, I didn't know. would have to go back and get it. So if you're watching this, don't sleep on this. Big Game, issue number one, drops this week. Big Game, issue number one, needs to be on your pool list. I don't know how many people know, but this is the direct follow-up to Nemesis Unloaded that just came out. Mark Millar is most famously known for the movie Wanted, Kick-Ass, uh, Jupiter's Legacy, Nemesis. I mean, uh, all kinds of stuff. Like, he's, he's done done it all. He's got tons of properties out there that have just been smash hits, and he's bringing them all together finally. It all started in that last run of Nemesis Unloaded, which was like a relaunch of Nemesis. So it was just a five-issue miniseries, probably the best book that came out all year. Like it was it was a sleeper hit. It was amazing. And at the end of it, there's a big tease that like Nemesis is getting called to a team. And this is the call into that team. Now I did look into this and there are some variants that feature some other characters from Mark Millar's work. I don't really want to spoil it here in case you want to discover it for yourself. Even so much so that this is not even the main cover. They're not even releasing the cover art for cover A as it contains massive spoilers. So this is going to be huge. This is going to be a big deal. The Magic Order is another one of his books that is going to be included in this. So don't sleep on this. You might recognize the character sitting in that chair front and center, but it's none other than Wesley from Wanted. Yes, the movie starring Angelina Jolie and James McAvoy, who played Professor X, but that's James McAvoy's character just sitting right there in the chair. Now, to that point, Wanted itself will have a special collector's edition issue number one drop. If you never read Wanted issue number one, it's a great opportunity to grab one and kind of dive more into the Millar world. So don't sleep on this. He is really putting his everything into these books. So much so that Jorge, For uh, what is it? Not Fornes, the guy that does Batman. Artist for Batman did uh, Nemesis Unloaded, and he did an amazing job. It was probably his best work I'd seen, like just unrestricted. Jorge Jimenez, that's it. He was fantastic on that, but we have Pepe Lares, Lares doing the art in this one. So that's going to be huge. Don't miss out on it. But let me know in the comments what you're picking up this week. That Blade cover is all I got for Marvel. They just need to set their game up. They just ain't putting out enough the quality to make me jump over there. I'm Hulk. That's what we have to look forward to at Marvel. Hulk and Ghost Rider. Punisher's over with, so we just have Hulk and Ghost Rider. So until that drops, I'm just going to be DC and indie for me, I guess. So let me know in the comments what you're picking up. What do you think of this list? Have you been reading Night Terrors? Uh, what did you think of all that? Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that join button. Consider becoming a channel member. And until next time, as always, I'm Mark, but we are Legion.